Yes. Who's zooming? Oh, hey, 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 hi, ho, hey. So we had just ended reading the, first, the, the last question that we got the last hour. Um, I'm not done. I'll do another hour. I'll be actually done right on time because he's going to be here around 2 15, 2 30. So that'll give me enough time to clean or spruce things up. So I was not poking fun at this person, but what I want you to understand if you are just now tuning in and didn't end with us on the last live, should I believe he wants to try again? You can never think for another person or like it's almost like everyone for themselves here you have to decide if he wants to he, he can't even figure out if he wants to try again if if it's not an overwhelming yes then it's an overwhelming i don't think so do you hear me if they are jumping into that cold ass lake of love with you then it's a no if they are running and jumping with your hand on the dock into that sea of love with you, then it's enough. So should I believe he wants to try again? If it's not an overwhelming yes, it's an overwhelming no. Kristen, thank you. Thank you, Tarte Cosmetics, if you'd like to sponsor me. Thank you, um, Smashbox. And I like wear five different mascaras because I'm a fucking addicted. If you aren't wearing five different layers of mascara, you aren't wearing mascara in my opinion. Okay, back to it. Should I believe he wants to try again? So here's my, well, I gave you the short and skinny version. No, 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 no. Like leftovers. Unless you can really cook something good up with them. I don't think so. My makeup is impeccable. Okay, you guys, concentrate on the reading. Not this is why I don't get pretty every day. Also, because I'm lazy as a motherfucker. Um, I used to do this every day of my life. Look like this. I don't wear foundation. I wear primer. Okay, Alina, I love you too. <laughs> you guys, I love you guys. Settle down. Should I believe he wants to try again? Okay. So I gave you my philosophical, my ideas, my thoughts, my beliefs on it. Yes. I don't think you should try again. No. Um, especially since I know you. I've thought about you. And I actually have a lover's reading in one of my notebooks that you never got. If I didn't throw it away again, I bet it's relevant now because I wouldn't just be thinking of it right now. Um, the hair. You could thank my hair and um, fairy godmother, Miss Denise. Um, beautiful I guess she's a beautician, esthetician, and not maybe not an esthetician, but she is the hair guru for curls and has shown me the way through products and technique, um, which I applied to today. Denise, thank you. Uh, <laughs> the Shea, the Shea, the Shea. However, I think it's one of these companies that's owned by another company I don't like. But here's the thing. We can't be so rigid, you guys. I know we fight with our dollars, but come on now. Okay, so Skin Diva. Oh, I wasn't supposed to say your name. I let the cat out of the bag. Whoopsies. I don't think she's going to care. So should I believe he wants to try again? My answer is no. Do you want to try leftovers again? I don't really like them. Unless I can really cook them up into something scrumptious. In which case, I probably would have eaten the whole dish, you know? Um, but here's the other thing. You're asking about belief, which ties down to your beliefs. What do you believe about this sort of scenario? Like, have you been let down so many times that you believe it's going to happen again? Because whatever you believe is going to be what happens. If you believe in him, then maybe. But if your belief is that you are always let down, you are always shit on, you are always fucking, ah, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Then the problem is with you, not him. But here's the thing. The problem is always, it's always you. It's not about him. It's about you. What do you believe? Well, how do we believe? Well, we have instances where we see what happens. 
because we see to believe because we can't manifest without seeing it. But once you get good at not having to see it, that's when you become a boss manifester. So anyways, what has happened in the past? I mean, you know whether or not you should trust him because that's what it boils down to. It's not about believing him. Do you trust that he wants to try again? You've got the wrong words here. So knowing how to ask your question is going to be important. Should I trust he wants to try again? Because it's not about believing because your beliefs are yours. You're going to believe whatever you want to believe no matter what you see or, or, or are told by him. Okay? So, no. My answer is no. <laughs> but let's see what spirit has to say. And <laughs> looks like spirit agrees with me. You need to accept the fact that it's over. You are having trouble accepting it. You believe that you want to see him try again. There's a belief in you. There's a hope in you to want him to want it again. You need to want yourself enough to move the fuck on again. Okay. Earth. Ground the fuck down. Get out of your head. Get out of your heart. Like, get out of, like, ugh. Just, just clean yourself up a bit. S sink into, like, go on a vacation. Go alone. Go where, geez, just go anywhere. Do anything. Rem I, I'm not saying run. This isn't in, a, in an effort to run from the situation, but it's in an effort to remove the idea of getting back with him. Because if you've already, if you're already not together, that's good. Don't go back into yesterday's trash can. There's nothing you need in there. There's nothing you want in there. Especially if you don't have kids, if you don't have this or that, or it, if there's just just stop doing that. You human. I say you humans like I'm, that's when you know you're channeling. Okay. We so often put ourselves in these situations. Like, should I believe he wants to try again? You should be saying, what should I be looking for in my next partner? Like what? Like, like when I go out to eat, I order what I want and I'm not thinking about what I could have had. I'm thinking about what I'm going to have next at the next place. You know, like coulda, woulda, shoulda, believe or not. I could talk all day about this, but spirit agrees. You need to accept the fact that it's over. Ground the fuck down and commit to yourself. Commitment is upside down. So there's com spirits like no, 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 and oh, no, like no. Spirit is saying, no, 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 no. It's not about believing in him trying again. You need, And if you have kids, I often say don't jump ship too soon. I, I, I definitely say make sure it's the two of you crumbling and not the dynamics of the family crumbling. You know, there could be more to it. Because if you've already decided to have kids and if you've already decided to commit in such a degree... Maybe there is something there, but, but so many of us young women and men or in betweeners, whatever you so choose, um, are, 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 are just into this vision of soulmates and twin flames and <sighs> no, your only job here on earth is to commit to yourself, to love yourself. And when people get really good at that, sometimes they like to love someone else also. And that's when it looks really good. That's when love looks really good on people. When they really love the fuck out of themselves. Oh, it just looks so... You're, that, those are the couples you hate. Like Chrissy Teigen and John Lennon. Or what? what? John Lennon? John Legend? <laughs> that was <laughs> so... <laughs> okay but you know no you know who your soulmates are your friends your family your children they're they are not someone of the opposite sex or not whatever you so choose to to dive into or munch on whatever you like uh no 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 your only job here but we fuck it up because we think and we're told by design that we've got to do this we've got to couple up we've got to have kids we've got to get that job that house that car we got to do this. We got to do that. We got to go on vacation in the summer, in the spring. We got to have this, that, or the other. Are you fucking kidding me? Do you know that we are the only people that live like this? Like us and the British. I mean, there is a whole great big world out there that lives a lot differently. Uh, 
So no, you need to commit to yourself. You need to love yourself. And that's when you're going to create, co-create some fucking magic with spirit and source energy in that. And then, and only then is when you will find your soulmate, your divine lover, and they may be there for a season, just a spring fling, which is over by now. So, you know, no, no. My answer is no. Put it on a billboard. Don't come at me with, oh, you told that girl she shouldn't get back with. No, because I already put the disclaimer in the first video, which I probably should have prefaced this video. It's baloney. Just like the fucking word baloney. I don't know how that word ever got its name, baloney. That's a bunch of... If you fucking people, and I love this girl, I, I know this girl, am I in love with my husband? That's a loaded question. Some days I love Mo. Some days the balcony is not high enough for me to push him off and him kill himself. No, I'm kidding. But I don't know. Do you? Do you not? That's not a question you ask somebody. This is a PSA out there to all of you. Don't come at your tarot readers with silly questions like this. Let me help you with your health, wealth, and abundance. Let me help you with your mental, physical, and emotional states. Let me help you with you, not a relationship you think you need to be in or not. Um, am I in love with my husband? Well, let's just get right down to spirit. I'm not even going to entertain that. Health, that's what it comes down to. Health, are you mentally, physically, and emotionally healthy? Your relationships will suffer otherwise. It always boils down to you. That person could be good, bad, or ugly, but if you aren't mentally, physically, and emotionally stable, you won't know if they're bad. You won't know if they're good. It always boils down to you. Your health, wealth, and abundance. Are they draining you mentally, physically, and emotionally? I would not love somebody that leeches off of me. I, I don't know anything about her and her relationship, mind you. Okay, so health. Is the relationship healthy? You have to look at the dynamics, mentally, physically, and emotionally, of each individual. Then do a little circle chart. Okay, so I'm mentally healthy. He's mentally unstable. That's really fucking up my mental game. He's emotionally very open. I'm emotionally very close because I've been hurt before. That's really fucking up his emotional centeredness because now he doesn't know to trust me because I don't trust him. You know, you've got to figure out your health. And I do readings like that, actually. That's something. See, I just, I just, I owe people readings. Martha for instance, I owe her a reading. I had not for two months done a single solitary reading. I have been in an abyss, not even really that bad, but it, it just really hit me hard when PayPal came at me, Amazon came at me, Instagram's coming at me. Like I really just was ready to just like, ugh, just shy away from everything. But Regardless, I'm not offering any new readings until I get my other readings done. Miss Martha came in right on cue. So you know how I roll, you guys. So in the future, maybe I'll be offering the lovers reading again and, and charts and stuff again. But it's just, it's a lot of work. And I offer it so affordably because I can't charge you what it's really worth. I just, I just can't. I don't want to, I don't want you to have to worry about paying a, a rent and, and getting something that you want guidance wise. So I just don't offer it. Um, okay. So your health, for the person that asks, am I in love with my husband? Are you mentally, physically, and emotionally available for love? That, these are questions you have to ask yourself. Mercury is coming in right side up. So now is the time to think, well, am I in love? Or is it just like a phase? Are we done? Are we out of love? Are we done loving each other and ready to love someone else? That is totally fine. We're grown adults here. You can choose to do that. You know, Th there is no contract in stone it, that it is a contract, though. So it's a contract you bought into legitimately from the system. And it's one you can pay to get out of if you so choose. But love could bloom. Love could emerge. Love could reemerge. So I would say think really, 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 really think about the repercussions of falling in love and out of love. 
Are you falling out of love or is it a, or is there a new layer to your love, a new depth to your love? Are you creating a deeper love by examining what you do and don't love about each other? That's how we come to love ourselves and another person. When we, we accept the flaws, when we understand the flaws, when we're willing to grow and flow and move on together. If you're not willing to do that, then you're not willing to keep loving. You're falling out of love and that's perfectly fine. I fall out of love with all kinds of things. You're not committed to anything. Just like fads and, well, I don't say live a fiducious lifestyle. I don't believe in that. But, and I don't believe in fast fashion. I don't believe in anything like that. But I'm just saying it's okay to examine your love. It's it's healthy. It's necessary. This is actually a healthy question. This is a healthy question, okay? But instincts are off. So when your health is off, when your mental, physical, and emotional health is off, your spiritual health and wellness is off. Your game is off. So you need to get that in check. Get your fitness. Fitness is a great way to sweat out the toxins. Get your thoughts and reality in check. Journaling. And then you'll come to find out, you know what? I was in love, but I'm not anymore. And that's okay. And you'll be mentally, physically, and emotionally stable enough to be okay with that. Regardless of if he is okay or not. Because that's the other thing. You are obligated to nobody, y'all. You can fall out of love with someone. Someone can love you and you cannot love them. We love a lot of celebrities. They don't love you, let me tell you. They think you're crazy. You see how that works? So when you allow someone to love you and you force yourself to love them, that's crazy. <laughs> you know, like you don't have to do that, okay? So think about it. You could be just peeling new layers to your love, you know? <coughs> okay, there's like, I have a lot of hair. Well, the very act that you've not ever, like, okay, so Carrie, you fall out of love Oh, I thought you said with yourself. I was like, wait, you love yourself enough to know that you don't love these people, places, and things. And that's alignment. <laughs> and it's not necessarily self-sabotage. It's, um, it would be self-sabotaging to stay in a place where you don't want to be. It would be self-sabotaging to avoid, you know, putting yourself out there again. It would be self-sabotaging to keep a lover you don't love. It would, you know, there, there, no, okay. Okay, next question. You guys have an obligation, a duty to yourself and to your children and to your grand elders. That is all. And to those less fortunate than you, to a degree. Good question. Will my small business grow into something greater or bigger? My question for you. Are you willing to grow? It's not about your business growing at all. The business isn't even... It's funny because I have a small business and these are questions I've often asked myself. So I used to think Bimford's was going to work for me. I was like, this is going to work out. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to work for myself. And I quit my job. And I could cry. I, like, there were days I didn't have, like, $20. But luckily, I didn't have kids and I had support. So do you have support? Do you have reassurance? Do you have faith? Do you have resilience? Do you have the ability to grow in the face of a lot of darkness? Because when you choose to have a business... You're putting yourself like on the platter, like cut me up mentally, physically, and emotionally for spirit, you know? So spirit is going to dissect you like a motherfucker. And it's not about the business growing. It's about you growing. I just love this person too. So I get a little emotional. That's what I want you guys to all know. Like you can do anything. You can be anything, but you have to choose to. Do more, be more, and show up more. So when I first got Pimfords, not first got Pimfords, created Pimfords, in the first year, I did quit my job. And it was almost like, and, and this whole thing about white privilege wasn't even on my radar. So there was a lot of things I dismissed. Oh, I manifested this. I did this. I did that. No, there's not a day that goes by now that I do not take into consideration all of the 
things I was afforded to create my business. Um, family, stability, support, structure, things like that. But I don't dismiss every shitty job or good job I had prior because I have been working since I was 14. I don't dismiss everything I acquired along the way either to create my business. So your business is only going to grow as big as the tank you put yourself in. So are you willing to grow? And I know I'm not willing to grow much more. Like, Benford's is as big as I want it to be right now. Don't outgrow yourself because of what you're seeing around you and, like, the growth other people have. Like, do not let that ever, 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 ever. Because when I first started Benford's, I said, I want, I, I don't even know why I said it. I said, I want, like, 98 clients a year. I just want to help, like, 100 people with their complete health and wellness. And and really that's how it was for the first three years. And now because it's worked so well for those first like 98 people, it's turned into like 9,000 people that I help yearly. And it's crazy and it's beautiful and it's amazing and I love it. But I know it's getting bigger than me. So don't, don't put on boots that are too big to fit in. Do what you can for your business. Think small. If I could only make six of a product, I only made six of a product. If I could only make two or three of this, I only made two or three of this. You know, don't, it's nice to have a vision, but be realistic and know that unless you work for your business, your business will not work for you. I used to say, this is going to work out. This is going to work for me. No, I work every single day, every single living, breathing hour for Bimfords. If I'm doing the dishes, I'm thinking about it. If I'm you know, doing anything with Mo. He literally has to say, stop doing, stop working. And so I shut my phone off now at seven. I try not to answer emails Friday through Sunday. I say no more and yes to myself more because I am the business and I'm in the business of creating for you guys. So if I can't do that, then that would really suck. So I got to create time for myself mentally, physically, and emotionally. So are you willing to grow? And if not, your business will never grow. You are wearing all the hats and you're a mom and you're a wife. So it's hard. Let's pull the cards. Another thing I didn't bring up. Are you ready to be isolated from family, friends, and lovers? It's so isolating. All day, every day I'm at home working. Now I could structure it differently and be less free with my time and lazy um, because I am kind of lazy. So I'm always just at home working and tinkering around. Um, so I have as much downtime as I have as much grind time, but it's super isolated. Are you ready to be super duper isolated? But it's also super pleasurable. The emails, the cards, like I have a box of cards from people over six years that I've helped. Like that's a, that's insanity. So it's, there's so much joy, it's so much pleasure. So it really does outweigh the risk and the consequence in my opinion. But then $700 of mine is being held. Are you willing to take a risk? Because with business and with growth, I've had to take out loans. I've had to pay back loans. I've had to take risks and make things that never sold, things that have spoiled. All kinds of things have happened. But I'm courageous. So are you courageous enough to grow your business mentally, physically, and emotionally? Because this isn't like a seed in a greenhouse. This isn't like a seed in, you know, the spring. This is like a seed in the fucking Sahara. And you've got to create the little island or not island, um, oasis for it to thrive. You've got to do all of that. Every bit of it. Okay. And it takes courage. It takes huspa. It takes takes a whole lot of fucking guts, really, um, to act on it and to do it. You know, business entrepreneurs right now, there has never been a better opportunity for entrepreneurs to create money, capital, sustainability, a presence, and first time. So these aren't people that have money. These aren't people that come from money. So these are all going to be first generation millionaires. Anybody can do it. And let me tell you, I, I don't know the percentage, but not many of them went to college for it. It is through courage. It is through faith. It is through intuition. It is through trusting, believing, and receiving. It is through needing. It is through knowing what you need mentally, physically, and emotionally and creating it and sustaining it, a business and practice and a model, whatever the case may be. 
So you've got to be willing to act. So <laughs> the year I quit my job, oh, I did whatever I wanted. I just woke up to yoga. I made a smoothie. I went online. Oh, God. My business is like, oh, I can't breathe. I can't do anything. You're not doing anything for me. You've got to be willing to hustle, 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 hustle. But you've also got to be willing to say no to people, places, and things and to say yes to yourself. I mean, it's a dance. It's a, it's a lot of dancing. And the business is always leading because it's the trends. It's the seasons. It's the clients. It's the people. You are You don't just have a business and work for yourself. No, you grind for everybody else that buys from you because they are your bread and butter. Okay. Next question. How to balance softness and family time and rigid responsibilities outside home? Oh, this is the this is a loaded question. This is a good question. This is a question probably a lot of you have. How to balance softness? Okay. So how to be graceful with your kids when it comes to getting shit done? Or how to balance softness and family. I'm trying to understand the question. How to balance softness and family time. If I'm understanding the question correctly, how do you both enjoy your kids and get your kids and family to get going, get working, get moving? I actually don't really understand the question. How to, does anybody, how to balance softness and family time? Well, let's just read the cards. Well, okay, so like, I wanna say your kids, if they can look at an iPhone or an iPad, you should not be putting their clothing away. They should be able to put their clothing away because if they could categorize buttons on a motherfucking screen and play games and watch YouTube and buy things on Amazon, they can clean their motherfucking room, okay? So I would say balance the duties. So if you want your life to be softer, if you want your life and family time to be less rigid, Oh, okay. Here we go. She, okay. I have other responsibilities outside the home all of a sudden. Okay. You got to make time, honey. Okay. So now your schedule has changed. So you want to know how you can bounce your family and your day-to-day -day work. And you need to be able to do it all. So here's what I'm telling you. Nobody can do it all. So right there, I'm going to tell you, you're going to fail. If you think you've got to do it all, you will fail miserably. We've got to decide what is most important that you have to do. What do you have to do? What is the priority? What is required? What is absolutely necessary? Like we cannot forget to pick the kids up at school. You know what? Okay. Because then what extra is there that has got to go? We've got to. You, you're at a buffet called life. Now there are 57 different things on the table, but you don't got to eat all 57 right now. The kids don't, don't have to do Taekwondo and gymnastics and swimming. I mean, a lot of you people are overachievers. I'm not saying, I don't know. I don't know what your situation really is, but I'm glad you're here to kind of help me. So be wise enough to know wisdom is coming up that you can't do it all. You can delegate it all though. We can't do it all, but I sure as hell can find someone to do this, that, or the other, and I can do this, that, or the other, and together we can get this, that, or the other done. And if you are being burdened by having to do it all, you need to really check yourself before you wreck yourself, and you need to get some better family, friends, and lovers, because it takes a village to do it all. No one person does it all. <coughs> so miracles is coming in upside down you probably don't you probably think you've got to do it all but you don't believe you can do it all and that then and there right ain't gonna happen and i ain't helping you by saying you can't do it all i'm just telling you the truth you can't do it all it is what it is but miracles can happen so people places and things can come to your aid divine inspiration alignment 
You have to ask for help. Aries thinks they can do it all. And then as they're pulling on that tug of war, they're getting slung into the mud because life is pulling equally as hard as them. And if they got some family, friends, and lovers behind them to pull, they would be a little tugboat that could. I mean, some of those tugboats. Have you seen tugboats? Have you ever seen that, y'all? That's kind of crazy. Tugboats pull in these huge ass pieces of shit. Like, what? The, I, that's mind blowing. But none of you are tugboats. None, not one of you came to earth as a tugboat this lifetime. If you did, you would be out there on the water. So be wise enough to know that miracles happen, but we have to co-create them. We've actually got to be, we're, we, cre we create the miracles. We believe in them. We create them. Oh, yes, we do. And if you give that power to someone else, then you're not going to have as many of them because they're almost going to be like a sneeze, come out of nowhere and be super refreshing and awesome or like, fuck. That sucked. Like, oh, I didn't want to sneeze right now. I was playing on mascara and come out of nowhere and you're going to miss the miracle. I mean, there's a lot of things that are coming. But Aries thinks they can do it all and they sure as hell can't. That's why Taurus comes in next. Because Taurus is grounded and realistic and actually can finish the job. And we need people. And Taurus is all about the number two, two people coming together. So Aries season is over. Adversity is upside down. I want to say the challenges you're facing aren't as hard as you think they are. You may be created more challenges, but you need to accept the challenges that are in your life and you need to know that they're the best way for you to learn. See that? You're going to learn from this. You're going to learn that you can't do it all and you're going to learn what you do and don't want to do and you're going to learn to say no to some people, places, and things because you do want to do all that you can really want to do stop doing things that you don't want to do also you guys stop doing things for your family friends and lovers that you begrudgingly do because that's not good karma you're not getting good karma for that that's if, if one of you is so naive to think you can do something and hate doing it and think that you're getting good karma you got another thing coming like <laughs> <laughs> jokes on you <laughs> just saying so how to balance it shit well what was the answer face your challenges your challenge might be saying no your challenge might be believing in miracles your challenge is realizing you can't do it all and that you're gonna run out of energy aries runs out of energy quick because it's like the tortoise and the hare yeah no and and that's the shitty thing about societal structure right now Cities and towns and people and places and things do not realize that we need our children. We need to raise our children together. We need to be more together. We need to do more, be more. Like those little crunchy moms that are doing those parenting groups and, and homeschool grouping and doing more with their family. Guess who's coming to their aid? More family, friends, and lovers when they need help. Uh, it, it, it pays to create a network of family, friends, and lovers. We get in our homes. We get in our cars. We go to work. We get in our cubicle. We've got to break down these walls. I'm not saying ride on the outside of your car. And I'm not saying not put up these walls and barriers that are necessary. But let your guard down. <sighs> There's no better time to create diversity in your life right now. We need people to be friends with other people. Okay? I will not put myself out there, though. I just don't like people. <laughs> don't take my own advice. No, but I've lived in Portland, like, three, oh, going on my third year. And I just was thinking I hadn't been downtown since the other day with my girlfriend. And I just, it is what it is. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Just kidding. Okay. Next question. These, I told you these relationship questions. Should I stay with the guy I'm talking to or leave him? Okay, first of all, you probably have some cancer in your chart. Should I stay with the guy I'm talking to? If you're only talking to him, you're not even together. Let me tell you right now. If you're only texting, sexting, and have a relationship on the fucking phone, you are not in a relationship. But if you're just being cute and saying the word taught, like, if it's that casual, you shouldn't give a shit that much. It should be that casual. Should I stay with the guy I'm talking to or leave him? You're so freaking cute. I love you. 
I'm going to say this. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to her. Talk to whoever the fuck you want. If you guys are just talking, you can talk to whoever you want. Don't get all your eggs in one basket. Okay. So, <laughs> spirit's going to talk. Um, denial is coming in upside down. So you're no longer in denial. You do know, should I, there, there's, 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 it's, it's, are you having fun? It, it really comes down to Marie Kondo. Where did she go? Where did she go? Does he bring you joy? Does talking to him bring you joy? If there is not joy, there will not be love. If there is not love, there is not something to sustain with him. Like, let's just move the fuck on already. Okay. So you're no longer in denial. Saturn is coming in upside down. Saturn could be going retrograde soon this summer. I can't see. I, I don't have my retrograde notes, but this is telling me probably some retrograde activity. Redo, renew, revisit, structure, support areas in your life that you need to secure. You need to create and sustain. Um, so it's not about talking to this person or that person. It's now you need to start talking to yourself. You need to love yourself. You need to talk to yourself. You need to create a dialogue with yourself. And if you knew yourself well enough, you would not be wondering if you should stay or go or talk to this person or not anymore. Okay. Just telling you, just saying it. Well, action comes in. You would know what to do mentally, physically, and emotionally, okay? So I step into my glorious future with determination and power. You kind of have a lack of power with Saturn upside down. You aren't in control here. You're in denial here. And when we're in denial, we aren't mentally, physically, and emotionally sound. There's an illusion. There's a facade. There's a false reality. There, We aren't seeing things clearly, you know, you can't just pick it off a rose. He loves me, he loves me not. He loves me, he loves me not. No, you get to decide. Do I even like him? Does he bring you joy? Does talking to this person bring you joy? If not, goodbye. Soulmate coming in upside down. Another crusher from spirit. No. So, no. The answer is no. Unequivocally, no. No, 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 no. If it's not a full-on yes, it's a no. You guys just should understand you get that choice you have that sort of say in your life I think we've been told for so long or we've done too many surveys where it says pick one through ten on a scale of one to ten how much do you love them no you could actually pick no you could just say nah I'm done is questioning it mean to leave I don't understand that but anyways yeah, so the action here has got to be self-driven, not about them. It is never about them, y'all. It is about you. It is never about your partner. It is never about your kid. It is never about your mother and father. It is never about your brother or sister. It is never about your family or friends. It is never about your coworkers. It is always about you. You get to decide how you show up, how you feel, how you're going to react, how you're going to go next what you're going to do next it's it's never about them and it's never even about what i or spirit or the news or the or or the guru is saying either what are you saying like marie kondo says it is about what she says does it bring you joy you know i'm not saying you can put your kids on the side of the road or anything like that they're your little turds to deal with. <laughs> if they don't bring you joy, you're shit out of luck. <laughs> We're going to have to make this definitely like, um, and we could just keep adding questions to the bag. Like later this week, I'll put the question box up again and eventually we'll get all of them. Another question. Not about love though. Am I on the right path for my life? Okay, you guys. Here's the thing. There's highways and there are routes. I don't know. Some highways go north, south. Some routes go east, west. I'm not sure exactly. I don't drive. So when I do these ones, I'm not the best at them. But listen to me. Hear me out. You're either going this way or that way, but you're never not on the road. Now, here's the other thing. You could be looking across the road at the other side of the road. You could be looking at oncoming traffic and you could get out of alignment with where you're going, but you're either going forwards or backwards on your path. So 
first and foremost, you're always on your path. You're never not on your path. You could be picking some shit on the side of the road, kind of hanging out on the side of your path, but, but you're, you're just, you're, so the question is, are you going forward in life? It's not whether or not you're on the right path or the fast track or going even in, in alignment with who you're supposed to be. It's like, are you moving forward? Are you trying to do more, be more, and get better at this thing called life? If you're sitting there and wallowing in, in just sort of self-destructing, which is different than the breakdown. The breakdown leads to breakthroughs. But, you, I mean, we're always on our paths. So, so enough with this path stuff. Stop letting people sell you, well, you should be on a path eight. You're a number six. You're a this, that, or the other. Like, no. You know, like the hot fucking cold game since you were born, unless everybody chose for you everything in your entire fucking life, what you wanted, what you did, what you wore, what you saw, what you think, what you felt. If somebody did all that for you and wiped your ass too, then sure, you might not know that what path you're supposed to be taking, but you know how you feel. Do you feel it, it's Marie Kondo? How do you feel? You know, I, you can be, and, and here's the thing though, I could be going forward, dragging my feet, but I could still be going forward. I could be going forward, skipping and singing and moving and grooving. I could be going forward, dragging people with me. I could be going forward, running and missing a lot of opportunities. So it's not even about going forward. It's about enjoying what's to come that's going for. It's about enjoying what's right now because now is next and next is now and now is next and next is now. I, it, so, so unless you're sitting there, rolled down the hill, then, then you're not on your path. Like, I don't, I don't really know how you could not not be on your path. Okay. So, so are you happily on your path? Are you moving forward on your path? Do you feel like you're going backwards on your path? That's what we're going to ask spirit, I guess. Well, we said it. You could be looking at someone else in their fancy car on their side of the road, but you don't know up the road for them is a blown out motherfucking tire because they've been going so fast that they fucking blew a tire. Stop envying other people on their path. Stop looking at someone on their path in their race because it's an individual race. Stop looking at them like you're not on your path because you're not on their path. If you were on their path, you wouldn't have the right motherfucking shoes on for what they've got to handle or go through or do. And another thing about envy is you discredit everything that they went through and their ancestors went through and them before them and before them before them and so on and so forth. So enough with the envy bullshit, enough with the jealousy bullshit and Virgo. There is no perfect way to get along on your path. Some days I'm crawling. Some days I am running a marathon. But at the end of those marathons, some of those people are crawling across the finish line. And, oh, don't those things make you cry when they're like, the people pick them up and cross the finish line with them. Oh, my God. Okay, so don't even let me get emotional again. But but there is no perfect way to run this race because that's that's just it. When you get those SAT tests. Everybody's taking a different test. You can't copy someone else. You can't you can't be on someone else's path and make it to the end of your finish line. It just won't work out. So keep waking up to the truth that there is no perfect path. There is no perfect way. But so long as you know that you're happy, mad, or sad, you could be well on your way to happy, mad, or sad. You can choose. You can change. You can decide. You can move forward from this, that, or the other, okay? Okay impatience is coming up so you're working on patience with yourself you're working on your issues with your perfection and you're working on your issues with envy and that is the best thing you can do have patience with yourself as you go on your path merrily away you know when they're going to the kingdom of oz or whatever to see the wizard one of them needs a brain one of them needs a heart one of them needs to find her family one of them needs to find this that or the other but, it, it, but they all tried to go on that same path and they all got suckered into the same bullshit you're going to go your own way and do your own thing and you're going to find what you need along the way okay and, and this gets me to talking about 
the influencers and the people that we're buying our supplements and health and wellness from. These people aren't professionals. These people are just getting paid to sell something. Sure, they might have an idea about this, that, or the other, and they, they might have good intentions, but you guys have got to realize they are on their path. You are on your path. The, I'm just going to go pull another card. Oh, well, that's a big question. I'm kind of, should we try for a baby now or should I wait? Unless you're on birth control and using preventative measures, I think spirit's going to kind of decide. But we're in this new age. I mean, the last 20, 30 years, we got designer babies. We get to pick, choose, and decide when we have children. And yeah, that's a that's a luxury for a lot of motherfucking people. So this is a big question. Should we try for a baby now or should I wait? I would say stop using contraceptives and stop taking birth control and see what happens. But if you're taking birth control, you are going to have to wait about a year before you do want to conceive, uh, if, 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 if I understand it correctly, because that fucks with your hormones up, you know? So, so that's a big question. Let's see what Spirit has to say. <laughs> yeah, just as I said. Okay, so happiness is coming up. A child will never make you and your partner happy. A child will be a nice addition to the family, but they're going to drive you motherfucking crazy. So make sure that you don't want this child just for happiness and joy. Make sure you want this child to co-create and you're ready for that phase of your life. Um, and, and know that the child will bring you happiness and joy, but it's also going to bring you like a hundred thousand dollars in debt over a lifetime. So be mindful of that. And are you ready to take that on? Okay, because you can do whatever you want. You will be able to achieve this now or later or whatever. I mean, but you have to decide if you got some body healing to do um, and recovery to do. That is what came up initially with birth control. So if you were on birth control or anything, you're definitely going to have to recover and heal your body and wait anyways and keep thinking about this incubation of a child in your belly or womb. <laughs> It's worth it. Of course, I'm sure it's absolutely worth it, but it for, for some people. So, of course, you want to know if you should have one now or later. So, I think she definitely wants a child, but um, you got to make sure you're ready mentally, physically, and emotionally, and physically, you know, physically, your womb is ready. But, yeah, happiness, joy. I mean, they are some motherfucking gurus, those kids. Like, my nephews are probably my favorite human being. But when I have them for a week, they're also my least favorite human beings. And I'm so grateful for the return policy. Okay. Oh, wait. I already pulled the cards. Let's see what the question is. Okay. What healing modality should I focus on? Which is brilliant. We were just looking at recovery and healing and with the last reading. So what healing modality should you focus on? Well, what are you trying to heal? First of all, remember, we have different areas of wellness, mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual. So if you're trying to hear spiritual, I would say connect with your soul self, connect with journaling, your ancestors, angels, and guides, and lineage. If you're trying to heal your heart, mind, body, soul, you know, I would need to know a little bit more but let's look at the cards because I already pulled them so that's sort of telling me I can't really say much else until I look at them so what healing modality should I focus on well the key to any healing to any modality to anything you're going to apply to your life to any sort of ritual ceremony work anything you're going to do discipline and that came up first you've really got to be disciplined you can't just try it for a day or two or three or four. You can't just try it for a month or two. You really got to think three, six, nine days, weeks, months, years, and put it into practice. There are practice hours for doctors and physicians and, and all kinds of medical professionals for a reason. You have to apply yourself for a certain amount of hours. You have to create that sort of discipline and structure. And it even kind of becomes habitual with your body and your emotions and your thought process. So you have to be willing to discipline yourself if you're going to heal anything with any sort of modality. But the balance is off. Libra is coming in upside down. And we just experienced that Libra full moon. So the illumination of some things where you lack balance in your life. So how can we heal 
the balance and harmony in your life, I would say with chakra therapy, um, I would work with my chakras, grounding and heart and throat chakra work. And I wouldn't work. Everybody is all about the third eye and the crown chakra. If you aren't grounded, you're like a motherfucking kite flying off into the sky. If you do not have something, someone, some way to ground and support yourself, your third eye and crown chakra work means shit to me. You aren't anybody to me. You aren't any. I'm so tired of those sort of um, influencers to y'all. Well, if I take this that or that, or it's going to open my third eye like them. And, and they take this. And I, and I had to tell a girl in the DMs, she was so kind. And we had a nice little dialogue. I said to her, there is nothing that you can take to turn into activation vibration. She is herself and you are yourself. You cannot take some DHA and change your brain molecularly to turn into some activation vibration chick online. You can't do it. It's not going to happen. You can't turn into any of them. Stop doing this to yourself. It, it, you, it's the stupid. It's like taking someone else's medicine. Doing what someone else does because it's on their path doesn't mean it's for you. That's why different plants grow in different areas. That's why people have different diets in different areas. What's good for them may not be good for you. Okay. That's why DNA and blood work and this sort of stuff is important. It's important to know what is necessary supplementally for you, okay? Get me started on that. Like, I started taking iron. Short was helping with my being cold. But it also was hindering my carpal tunnel and arthritis in my hands. So just because something is good for the masses, other people, doesn't mean it's good or right for you, Okay. <coughs> Just saying. So comes down to essence. We all have our own essence. And with discipline and balance and harmony, we create liberation and freedom for each of us to do our own thing, to bloom in our own way, to heal in our own way. So it's not about the modality. It's not about the healing. It's about what should you focus on? Like I said earlier, mental, physical, emotional, or spiritual health, wealth, and abundance. What do you need to focus on? It's not what other people need to focus on. It's not what everyone else is focusing on. It's what you need to focus on. And it looks like it's abundance. That's coming in upside down. So your mental, physical, and emotional health, wealth, and abundance. So the people, places, and things, the resources. You need to focus on healing your relationships, the balance and harmony, and being yourself in your relationships with discipline. And that's when you'll tap into the truth of who you are and what you are and the different modalities that you would like to tap into. I've tried a lot of different things. Some of it might be appropriation even, you know, some of the modalities I was tapping into. So look into that, you know, some forms of divination might not be for you. Okay. Or, 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 or learning or, or symbolism, things like that. Okay. So the next question when it pops up and tells me I've been on for an hour, I'm going to have to be done. But I will pop on maybe later tonight if Mo goes out in Ubers. Okay. Another relationship one. Does he feel the same way? Or am I crazy? Guess what? I don't give a shit how he feels. How do you feel? Does he bring you joy? What do you feel? It doesn't matter what he feels. I mean, to an extent. Do you feel like you want to feel this way about him, regardless of how he feels about you? Because you will never be able to make him like you or not like you. He's going to like you or not like you if he wants to. Um, so does he feel the same way? I don't know. How do you feel? And, and a lot of times we get in our own way. We think it's too good to be true. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I am crazy. No, maybe you're not crazy because people are a mirror. So maybe you did meet this person. Maybe it isn't too good to be true. Maybe this is the person. I don't know. Let's see what Spirit has to say. I'm getting a little nicer. <laughs> okay. So empathy is coming in upside down. You've got to stop feeling for other people. You've got to stop letting other people influence the way you feel. You've got to stop feeling for other people in this other person. Stop giving a shit how other people feel and start giving a shit about how you feel. Okay. And the I feel card comes in. So how do you feel? Like I said, it's not about him and how he feels. It's about how you feel. Do you feel you want to pursue this? And if you crash and burn, You'll feel all right in a little while. If you find someone that actually likes you and it's re reciprocated or whatever, 
that's amazing too. You'll feel that. Are you ready to feel what comes next is what you've got to ask yourself. Does he feel the same way? I don't know. Are you willing and feeling like taking a risk? So strength is coming in upside down. Your strength could be off or you could be stronger. You could be, your feelings could be stronger and the, the feelings could be off. So yeah, maybe you are crazy. Maybe you like him more than he likes you. And let me tell you something. I don't know a whole lot about dudes. But they're pretty upfront and honest. And if it ain't a big old yes, if they ain't trying to take you out, if they ain't trying. The people don't play games really anymore, I don't think. I mean, am I that old? I don't know. But I think people are pretty upfront anymore. And you would know how he feels or not. Especially if you're an empath and an intuitive and a person like that. So, um, but like I said, are you willing to feel what's next and discover what's next? Because this is a feeling. Feelings are momentary. They happen for a moment. So you feel this way now, but you might not feel this way later. So are you willing to discover that about yourself? And then what, what happens if he does end up liking you and you you don't end up liking him? I mean, it's, there's a lot of variables here, okay? Um, but but the, the feelings are strong for sure. You're going to discover something about yourself for sure. But it's about how you feel, not about how they feel, okay? Oh, I love you too, baby girl. It's about to be tea time for me. I'm trying to get in here and get these a little less in the pot, but there's so many. I had like eight pages that I printed of questions. <laughs> okay. This is kind of in alignment with the previous question. What healing modality should I focus on? What do I need to hear right now? What do I need to focus on more? Well, like I said, the four houses of your health, wealth, you know, happiness and joy are centered around your mental, physical, and emotional and spiritual states. Okay. So, um, we'll just get right to the cards. Okay. Well, hate to break it down for you. They're all upside down and I don't, I don't think it's bad or good. It's pretty neutral in my opinion with this mashup here, but there's a lack of honesty. Honesty is not coming up front. So, so, so it's a time for you to be honest with yourself. You know what you need to hear right now. You know what you need to do right now and you know what you need to focus on right now, but maybe you aren't being honest with yourself. I cannot wait until the chakra website is done because it has the best journal questions for you guys to really get honest with yourself. Let me tell you, in six years, I've transformed my whole entire life. And let me tell you, see, it doesn't, I don't have a six month course because nothing happens really in, I mean, a multitude of things will happen in six months, but the real work happens over a lifetime and you got to be willing to put in that work. Okay. So you got to be honest with yourself about what you know you need to hear and what you are hearing and what you keep hearing. And maybe that's just it. You're tired of hearing what you're hearing and you're asking me to hear something else, but I'm just going to tell you what you're hearing is what you should be hearing. So Scorpio comes up and she came in upside down, cleansing and clearing cycles um, are coming through for you, especially when we deal with these retrogrades all summer. So we're cleansing and clearing five areas of, 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 of cycles in our life, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, health, wealth, abundance, family, friends, lovers, so much we're cleansing and clearing this summer. So you really got to do this work. Honestly, be honest with yourself and be honest with others and simplify your life simplify whatever you can. And we were talking about that in the first hour, I believe less is more. Don't tell Dolly Parton because she's a more is more kind of girl. But to some degree, you can do more for yourself if you do less for everyone else. Okay. So uh, what do you need to focus on? The journey, the quest, the quest is coming in upside down. So you need to focus on yourself. You see your little, little self and your higher self. You need to get back on track with who you are and what you are. You're over here and off in the bushes. It's not that you're not on your path. You're just popping a squad over there taken too much in so less is more simplify and you'll be able to cleanse and clear more but be honest with yourself Marie Kondo what brings you joy uh, it's so easy though you know once you realize it comes down to your happiness and joy and that's how other people will respond to you in relation to your happiness and joy when you set that tone it's like you set the radio station in the car and you got shotgun and you get to pick where we're going for dinner and you get to pick the dessert that we all share it's like 
it, 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 it just gets so fucking amazing once you start saying yes to yourself and no to others and getting honest with yourself and, and get on get on with your journey get get moving forward away from the should i be with him or not oh it's cutting me off again don't you know good timing though love you all so much i'll try to pop on later these will be saved and we'll do this again okay Mwah.